Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to another Monster Spotlight. I actually have quite a few in queue right now, so I'm definitely going to be making these for the next few days. So, we have here um, Chubbies and his Dark Mona. So, I, I had to make sure it was the right name. Um, it's Chubby and his Dark Mona. Now, this Dark Mona is a little bit special because it is on a full siphoning gem. And these are actually, like actual gems they're not like some random shitty gems that he threw on basically he pushed 100% crit rate on the two two gem slots and he had um attack on this gem slot i'm not sure if i should test this out in b10 i can obviously um use this to test it out in b10 but i think i was originally going to try using it using this team and then trying to run like a you know a speed b10 but um i think the best way to use your siphoning gems is definitely for for levels that require some sort of like some sort of really really fast nuking so I'll, I'm gonna put him in B8 and I'm going to use some some nukers I don't really have any other nukers I only have my dark mona as well so we'll just put in this dark mona we'll put in two more dark monas and we'll see like how much um, you know how insane the the SP generation can get and I guess for the last slot since I don't really have anything I'll just put in my what should I put in I'll put in. I'll just put in a Dark Sea Star. It's the only other nuker I got. So we got tons of damage with this. Actually, I'll, I'll put in. I'll put in Dark Victoria. She's the. Um, she is. She is. She does have some attack as well. So we're gonna use this, and we're gonna see how fast it can farm B8, and if it can cut my my run time down. Now, actually, I think to to make this a little bit more interesting, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take out his Dark Mona. I'm gonna do a run with just my normal B8 team with the uh, with my Dark Sea Star, you know, with the crit rate and my two Dark Monas, and then we can compare the run time afterwards by using his siphoning Dark Mona. I think this should be pretty good. I really like how they actually have the the runtime at the very end, so I don't have to have have like a separate timer to do my to calculate my run times. I guess they learn from other games like Summoner's War. Um, it's like people like to see the run times, especially me. I like I think my my uh, greatest interest in the game right now, since I'm like pretty pretty late game, I can do most of everything. Uh, my greatest interest is like trying to cut down run run time. It's it's kind of what makes this game really really fun for me. So I think that's why I'm like trying to aim hard for siphoning gems, trying to get my run times even faster. And that's that's like kind of the um, the way I really have fun in this game. Like I try to I try to see if I can get my run time faster than it already is. I don't know if this is too fair because sometimes um, your AI attacks the side units, but if they if like two of them attack the boss, then the boss does indeed die in one turn. Now this is like really unlucky. Maybe I should, maybe I should do both runs with um, me like manually cl clicking the boss, so we can see the fastest run time possible. So I'll, I'll do one more run after this. This is this is a run with me not auto attacking the boss. This will make the video a little bit longer because it's literally gonna just be like one minute long. If I if I do it otherwise, so it's a minute and and twelve seconds. Now I'm going to quick restart again and this time I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the boss at the very very end this way um, you know it I just show the best possible case scenario this way both comparisons are fair um, basically you won't have to rely on AI or, or anything but during the first wave like it's it's basically pure RNG as well I mean obviously if b all four of your units attack someone different um, on the first turn then they obviously all die but it does have the off chance of them, you know, just like all attacking the same unit and slowing down your run time by a lot. So I'm trying to trying to cut down my run time as well, and I think the only thing that can make my run times like physically faster is just siphoning gems. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna target the boss right now, and this should just just basically like one shot the boss. Okay, this way this way it's fair. This way. Both both teams um, are as if they they targeted the boss and it's the, like the best possible scenario. So 56 seconds um, for for just my team. Now we're gonna compare it with Chubby's um, siphoning Mona. We'll see how this goes. 
Okay, so I'm going to take out the Dark Sea Star. Now, I'm going to mainly use his leader skill because I think with two crit rate gems, he def definitely does have over 100% crit rate with this. Um, oh no, he doesn't have crit rate on the other one. But it does come with a 10% base, yeah. So it's it's 100% crit rate, almost 6k attack. Definitely should have enough damage to um, one-shot everything. So I'm just going to go in and we're going to see how fast this run is. Alright, ooh, bad RNG. If it was good RNG, like, if one blue soul went to him, he'd have a full bar. Okay, that's good. The very least, um, it took two turns for, for the first turn. I guess that's that's kind of fair. And then he goes with a nuke, full bar. Goes with another nuke. Another full bar, and then I'll target for for fairness' sake. I will target the boss, and the run is over. Okay, so that was fifty-two seconds. Um, I guess it basically the the difference in runtime was basically it saved me one turn of AoE. Now obviously if the RNG could have been better um, if if maybe more units target different units during the first turn then actually wait no it can't really be faster because at most um, first attack she has to use her first attack to charge up her bar right so it only in on the in the if during the first turn if all four units attack different units because nobody has their AoE up during first turn um, if all four units attack someone different then you basically get your get your bar full, or you get your bar full, and you basically only use one turn. And then second wave, you use one turn. Th third wave, one turn, and then fourth wave, one turn. So basically, um, at most, like in the most optimal situation, it's only going to be four turns. But it's very, very rare for your units to be attacking four units at the same time. So the only way that, um, like the basically, what this does is um, in the case of it doesn't have to rely on RNG. Basically, this 52 seconds, will, it will be like this. The, the way that siphoning works is it'll basically limit all your turns to um, exactly, I think exactly four turns, right? Now first turn, second turn on first wave. No, five turns, five turns. At, very, at the very, very most, you'll only have five turns. So um, this 52 seconds is reliable. It's like a reliable number. Basically, every single one of your runs will be 52 seconds if you have like a Mona built like this on Siphoning Set. Because um, at the very, very most, you will only need five turns to kill the boss. Obviously, like maybe you might want to use some other units that have possibly like faster attack animation so it doesn't like lag anyone, but that can only really cut down the, the run time by like um, by, by two seconds. And I'm not entirely sure if just her one AoE is able to kill the boss. So I think to make it reliable to always have this time, um, even when you're not able to, when when they don't target the boss, is if you have like two Dark Monas, for example, and both of them are on, on like 100% crit rate siphoning set. And it doesn't matter who they target at the end because they're going to use their AoE and it will always kill the boss. So, um... Yeah, you can definitely definitely make your run times fast, but this is like already the most like optimal situation. I don't think you can really cut it down any any shorter than this. Obviously, um, during the first turn, if they all attack someone different, then it might go down by another four seconds. So, I think maybe like 48 seconds is probably the limit, like the physical limit of how fast you can run Golem's V8. So yeah, that is. I think that's that was that was a pretty good, um, pretty interesting monster spot. Like very very different from what I usually do. And um, yeah, thank you, thank you, Chubbies, for letting me borrow your Dark Mona. Now this was a little bit short, but um, we actually got to see something nice, and I'm actually really really excited to be farming dragons and trying to get siphoning for my monsters. So that is pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.